In this comprehensive update, we'll delve into the latest transfer news and rumours surrounding Arsenal's potential signings and departures. We'll cover five intriguing stories. Tommy Setford, Eddie Inkataya, Mikel Marino, Ricardo Calafiori and Victor Geokeres. Let's dive into the details of these exciting developments. Arsenal has made significant strides in their pursuit of Ajax's teenage goalkeeper, Tommy Setford. The Gunners have put forth an initial offer to secure the 18-year-old who has showcased his talent within Ajax's youth ranks. This move aligns with Arsenal's strategy of investing in young talents who can develop under their revamped academy structure. According to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal's opening proposal for Setford stands at £350,000 plus bonuses. Setford, an England youth international, is keen on the move to North London. He is expected to join Arsenal's academy setup, likely playing between the under-21s and under-18s teams. Arsenal's academy has been revitalised with a separate budget dedicated to youth recruitment, allowing them to target emerging stars from various academies. This initiative is part of Arsenal's broader plan to bolster their youth ranks, with eyes on several other promising players, including Southampton's Harrison Miles. Dutch journalist Mike Verweij has reported that Ajax is considering Arsenal's proposal and with Setford's contract nearing its end, there is a significant chance the Dutch club will sell. Setford's potential arrival at Arsenal is seen as a long-term investment and he could be a crucial addition to the club's future goalkeeping options. Now, turning our attention to Eddie Inketia, the young striker who once lit up Arsenal's academy with his prolific scoring. Despite his past success, Inketia has struggled to secure a regular starting spot in the first team. Nonetheless, he has managed to tally 38 goals and 7 assists in 168 appearances across all competitions. Arsenal's sporting director Edu has set a £40 million price tag on Inketia, signalling the club's high valuation of the 25-year-old forward. Inketia's potential departure is part of Arsenal's strategy to offload fringe players and reinvest in strengthening their squad. Marseille, under new head coach Roberto De Zerbi, has shown strong interest in Inquetia. De Zerbi is leveraging his Premier League connections to build a competitive team capable of challenging Paris Saint-Germain's dominance in Ligue 1. However, Arsenal is set to reject Marseille's impending £20 million offer, with Edu Gaspar standing firm on the £40 million valuation due to Inquetia's age and remaining contract length. This price tag reflects Arsenal's recognition of Inketia's potential and homegrown status, which would translate into pure profit on the balance sheet. Inketia has also drawn interest from several Premier League clubs, including Fulham, Ipswich Town and Crystal Palace. Despite limited game time under Mikel Arteta, Inketia maintains a strong bond with the manager, who has praised his abilities and expressed regret over the lack of opportunities. This situation leaves room for ongoing negotiations throughout the summer transfer window as Arsenal seeks to optimise their squad depth and prepare for a competitive season ahead. Next, we move to Mikel Marino of Real Sociedad, who has emerged as a key target for Arsenal. The Spanish midfielder, fresh from a strong Euro 2024 campaign with Spain, is open to joining the Gunners. Reports suggest that Marino has informed Real Sociedad of his desire to leave with Arsenal keen to secure his services. However, there is a significant gap between Arsenal's valuation and Sociedad's asking price. Arsenal is willing to offer 25 million euros, while Sociedad demands 40 million euros for the 28-year-old. Marino's potential transfer represents a departure from Arsenal's typical strategy of signing younger players. However, Arteta is personally pushing for the acquisition, believing Marino's experience and quality could significantly bolster Arsenal's midfield. Initially, Arsenal's interest was directed towards Marino's teammate Martin Zubimendi. The shift to Marino came as negotiations for Zubimendi stalled and Arteta convinced the board to alter their transfer philosophy for this particular signing. Marino's addition to Arsenal's squad would fill a crucial gap in midfield, especially with the expected departures of Thomas Partey, who is in the final year of his contract, and Albert Sambi Lokonga, who is set to join Sevilla. Arteta's desire to add Marino underscores his commitment to enhancing the team's quality and depth, as Arsenal aims to build on their recent successes and challenge for top honours. Now, let's discuss Ricardo Calafiori, 
who is on the verge of completing a move from Bologna to Arsenal. The 22-year-old Italian defender, who shone at Euro 2024, is poised to join the Gunners. Calafiori's versatility, being able to play both as a centre-half and a left-back, makes him an ideal fit for Arteta's tactical setup. Negotiations between Arsenal and Bologna are progressing rapidly. Arsenal has offered 45 million euros plus 5 million euros in add-ons, but Bologna has requested the full 50 million euros up front. Despite this minor hurdle, both parties are optimistic about reaching an agreement soon. Calafiori has already agreed to a five-year contract worth 4 million euro per season, signalling his eagerness to join Arsenal. Calafiori's arrival would address one of Arsenal's significant needs in defence, providing depth and flexibility. This transfer aligns with Arsenal's strategy of recruiting young, promising talents who can develop and contribute to the club's long-term success. Calafiori's addition is expected to strengthen Arsenal's defensive options and support their quest to challenge for domestic and European titles. In addition to Calafiori's incoming transfer, Arsenal is finalising the departure of Nuno Tavares to Lazio. Tavares, who joined Arsenal from Benfica in 2021, has struggled to secure a regular place in the first team and has had loan spells at Marseille and Nottingham Forest. Lazio's sporting director confirmed that the deal for Tavares is imminent, marking the end of his tenure at Arsenal. Finally, we turn our attention to Victor Gioqueres, a prolific striker from Sporting Lisbon, who remains a prime target for Arsenal. The Swedish forward, who netted 43 goals last season, is highly sought after by several Premier League clubs, including Chelsea, Liverpool and Tottenham. Arsenal's interest in Gioqueres reflects their ambition to add a top-tier striker to their squad, addressing a crucial need in their attacking options. Gioqueres, valued at around £60 million, had minor knee surgery at the end of last season, but is now fit and ready for a potential move. Sporting Lisbon's coach, Ruben Amorim, is keen to retain Jokeres and is holding out for the striker's £85 million release clause. However, sources suggest that Sporting might consider a deal closer to £60 million given the current market conditions. Arsenal's pursuit of Jokeres highlights their focus on strengthening their attacking options. With Gabriel Jesus' role under question, securing a prolific striker like Gioqueres could significantly enhance Arsenal's goal-scoring capabilities. This move would be part of Arteta's broader strategy to build a squad capable of competing at the highest levels, both domestically and in Europe. Arsenal's summer transfer window is shaping up to be a pivotal period for the club. With strategic moves for Tommy Setford, Eddie Nketaya, Mikel Marino, Ricardo Calafiori, and Victor Jokeres, Arsenal is addressing key areas to build a competitive and balanced squad. These potential signings reflect a blend of youth and experience aligning with Arsenal's long-term vision while providing immediate impact. As the club navigates the complexities of the transfer market, fans can expect an exciting season ahead with Arsenal poised to challenge for major honours and continue their ascent under Mikel Arteta's leadership.